Okay, so um, I know you guys have been talking about um, standard precautions in the classroom, so now it's time to learn some of the skills that go along with standard precautions. Um, the first skill we're going to talk about will be hand washing. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you right quick. It's going to be very helpful to you if you have your skills list in front of you as I'm going through the demonstration and then maybe jot some things down that are not written on the actual skill sheet. So um, I'm sure your instructor will, can answer any questions that you may have. Remember, you're gonna view this skill before you go to the simulation lab to actually practice this skill before you validate. So here we go with um, hand washing. So the very first thing you need to do when you wash your hands is gather your equipment. So what are we gonna need when we, use, when we wash our hands? Besides our hands, we're gonna need a sink, most of your sinks at the hospital are going to be automatic, um, but this sink is not, and you'll encounter some sinks that are not automatic, and I'll show you how to handle that in just a second. Um, you're going to need some soap. You're going to need your paper towels. Generally speaking, when you're at the hospital or a clinical site, your paper towels are located a little closer than ours are here in the lab, so it's going to be in your best interest to go ahead and pull at least four or five of these paper towels and put them beside the sink before you get started. And then the last thing you're probably going to need is a garbage can to put your dirty paper towels in. So we'll go ahead and get started. Once you've got all of your equipment assembled, you're gonna go ahead and take off your jewelry. Most of the um, clinical sites, well, you guys won't be wearing any jewelry when you do your internships, your rotations and whatnot. Um, most healthcare workers are not allowed to wear jewelry unless it's just a simple wedding band. I don't think any of you guys are married, so we'll have to worry about taking that off. But go ahead and take off your watch and lay it to the side. Okay, your next step and you get five whole points for this, you turn on the water. Regulate your water temperature, and remember from your lecture and your DHO that you want the water to be warm. You don't want it to be hot, and you don't want it to be cold, but warm is what works best. So get that water temp regulated, and then before you put soap on, you're going to wet your hands with your fingertips pointing downward. The reason that you wet your hands with your fingertips pointing downward is it allows all of those germs or pathogens or whatever to run off the fingertips into the sink as opposed to down your elbow and touching your clothes and whatnot. All right, so once you get your, um, your hands wet, go ahead and get your soap. Some, soap, some um, hand hygiene areas will have automatic soap dispensers, but in the lab here we have, we have both. You can use either one. And then you're going to work up a nice soapy lather. So you're going to scrub your palms, okay? Um, once you get your nice soapy lather going, you're going to do the tops of your hands. Now this is a medical hand washing, um, which is different from the way you learn to wash your hands, say probably before you started kindergarten, when you just um, had to wash your hands as long as you sang Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Happy Birthday, or something like that. So um, our purpose here today is just a little more, uh, we're trying to do a little more than that today. So the tops of your hands. Then you're gonna interlace your fingers to get in between each finger. Um, I know that we're allowing the water run it's to run and that's not very good for the environment, but neither is passing along hospital acquired infections to your patients. So we're gonna just let that run right quick. Okay, after you get between your fingers, you're gonna scrub your wrists. And so you just put your hand around each wrist and scrub that pretty good. And then after that, you're going to do your nails. So you're going to take your nails and put them in the palm of each of your hands. You're not trying to scratch like you're trying to really draw blood or anything. You're just gently working that soap in, underneath your fingernails and into your cuticles. Okay, so once you've hit all of those areas, now it's time to rinse. Um, I'd like to point out that on your skill sheet, the um, different surfaces of the hands are listed in, in order. You will not be counted off when you do your skills validation if you start with the wrist first as opposed to the top of your hand. So as long as you hit all of the important parts, you'll get credit. So, all right, so now it's time to rinse. Again, you're gonna rinse with your fingertips down. In your later classes, we'll talk about surgical scrubs. And when you do a surgical scrub, your fingertips are pointing up, so. All right, get your hands good and rinsed off. Try not to shake all the water off and you know get it everywhere. Grab a paper towel, dry your hands all the way. Dispose of your paper towel in the garbage can. 
All right, and then grab one paper towel. Use it to turn off the water. The reason you're using a paper towel to turn off your water is because your hands are now clean. When you turn the water on, your hands were dirty, so have to remember to keep them clean. All right, so throw that paper towel away, and then take your last paper towel and wipe the area down. You always want to leave the area nice and clean for the next person that comes along to wash their hands. Just be careful not to cross-contaminate yourself and get yourself dirty again. So on your skill sheet, you'll notice that there are some asterisks, and the statements beside those asterisks are the things that you're gonna have to verbalize to your instructor. So the thing on our hand washing sheet would be, what are the, when are the four times that you always have to wash your hands? So you're gonna have to say this when you do your validations. Um, before and after every procedure, that's one. Um, after you take off your gloves, that's two. Anytime your hands are visibly soiled, if you can see something on your hands, you need to actually physically wash your hands. And then the last one is anytime your patient has Clostridium difficile, or we call C. diff, um, because that, that um, bacteria in particular is very um, resistant to hand gel, so you have to actually wash your hands. So that's it for the hand washing. Remember, if you have any questions, just please see your instructor in class. Thanks.